Hey guys, how's it going? Good morning. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm in my own house. <laughs> but this has to be weird seeing me in a sweatshirt, isn't it? But um, here's the deal. So I just got up a little bit ago and I'm fixing to go in and do my workout. Thought I'd share some Southern Charm with you. But fall weather arrives rather violently <laughs> in Chicago. I don't want to say violently, that's not the best choice of words. But, I mean, you go from having 90 degree days to the kind of days that you wake up. And usually when I, when I get up in the morning, I like to have my um, back door to my deck open. Because I like real fresh air. And so, suffice it to say, when you get up and... Usually what I do is like I get up, make my bed, all of that stuff. Uh, open all my windows. Um check my email really quick and then, you know, and now what I'm making sure I do too because of the hydration thing is chug my water in the morning. Then I come in here and I pour my blue, which I'm just getting ready to shake it up in front of you. Oh, I had such a weird dream last night too. Um, hold on. Um, the few times, it's, it's usually only when I have like sleep where I'm off and on, off and on, that I remember my dreams, and I do remember my dream from last night. All of my dreams when I have weird dreams. And I never really have, sadly, I don't really ever have good dreams. If I dream, it's something bad. Um, but the constant themes in my dreams are, um, I have to be somewhere, um, someone's taking me somewhere, and, because I'm such a control freak, so if I ever go like to an event locally. I need to drive so I can leave when I want to and so on. So all of my dreams are that I'm either riding shotgun with somebody or they're picking me up and they're late or they're early and I'm not ready and I'm running around scrambling and trying to pack and I'm rushing and I'm in a hotel and a lot of times I'm in a hotel. I don't remember what my room number is. I can't I don't remember what my room number is. That's a common theme. So I have this key and I'm like, no idea what my room number is and no one can tell me. There's always this sense of panic and um, being late or, or having to rush. <laughs> All the things that I don't do in life when I travel. But I do know last, in my dream last night, I was married to someone who was like, I don't know, royalty or something? It's really, I wonder if I read something about royalty before bed that made me have that dream. But I was like this neglected wife, and um, of course he was driving, and we were, anyway. So it's disturbing when I, I woke up from a bad dream, and then I opened my door, and I'm like, wow, it's Uggs and sweatshirt weather all of a sudden. There's just no in-between in Chicago. There's no, you know, you don't go from like 90s to 80s to 70s to 60s. It's 90s late in the summer. We don't get our summer until late. And then it's like, you go from having 90 degree days to 60. And that's what I think it's supposed to be today. Actually, let's check the weather. And I probably have blue all over my... Ten days, so it's 53 degrees today, so it's not 65. I bet you the high is six. Oh, yeah, so the high of 72 today. Tomorrow, high of 60. Monday, 66, 70. And then, so next Thursday, it's supposed to get up to 80. And then we go back down to 70s. Am I in town next week? No, I'm in town. So there's a reason that I came in here to shoot this video before I've even put my workout clothes on. Not to mention the fact that blue. <laughs> um, stop it. Also, do you see the um, Under Armour headband I'm wearing? Did I show you guys? I think I did, but I still need to do some more um, videos on that. Oh wow, it's amazing. <laughs> How blue. to rinse it out, um, how pleasantly surprised I was at how many headbands they have. 
at, uh, at Under Armour because I think you guys have known. So like the folks at, at Sparkly Soul were kind enough to send me some of their headbands and their headbands are awesome and they do indeed not move. However, I have been, and this is nothing, this is not a defect of their stuff. It's just a personal preference, right? It's kind of like I have certain personal preferences for the way my sneakers fit. I'll get to this in a minute. If I remember, I really should do separate about that. Um, God, I said this was going to be like a four-minute video, and now it's already five minutes. Um, now I lost my train of thought. What was I just talking about? Oh, headbands. So the Sparkly Soul headbands that I that they sent um, were great, um, and they do hold back, but you know they're very thin. So if you have bangs like me, um, see, like these are my bangs right there which is, it's still a little bit of an issue, but I, I feel like I need a thicker headband to keep the bangs back, um, keep the bangs back and not have them. If you wear just a thin headband, you tend to have the bangs like really sticking up over. So that's just my, my thing, why I've always preferred, um, cause I've always had bangs. So I've always preferred a thicker headband. Now this I'm gonna tell you, um, I'll do a separate video. I really should bring in so many of those. Um, headbands, but um, they have the thin ones and they have thicker ones and they have thicker ones that are braided and then I was pleasantly surprised because I remember they said to me when I was out there they were like oh we've got thicker ones and then they they gave me some that were like you know they the first kind were that thick and then the next one were that thick and I thought the ones that were this thick were what their idea was of thicker ones and I was like well that's nice <laughs> And of course I didn't want to be ungrateful, but part of me was going, those are not what I would call thick headbands. Well then, I got, I opened, you guys probably saw, I did that one video where I was opening up the, the bag and I was pleasantly surprised at, so this is what I would call maybe a medium thick headband that they have, but I gotta tell you guys, I don't know if you can see, this is, this is about as tight and sticky as a headband can be. Very, very, I mean, like, it's not moving. A lot of, if you've seen my videos in the past, you probably were not paying attention to my headband, but I would just buy those headbands um, at Walgreens or whatever. The I don't even know what brand it is, if it's scrunchy or whatever, but they're essentially cloth, and they would always end up stretching out and being kind of like wearing a sock on your head. So this, I'm quite pleased with. I never would have thought of getting... I, I don't I don't know. I guess I'm just so used to I always used to buy my headbands at the store that I never would have thought of buying headbands like from a sporting apparel brand. Anyway, the reason I wanted to shoot this video before I even get in my workup clothes, Lake Tahoe, my favorite place, one of my favorite places behind Miami, where I'm gonna be living very soon. <sighs> I can't wait. Um so the reason I wanted to shoot this video is I thought as I was getting ready to work out and, and knowing what I'm doing today, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna work out here, not hit the gym today, um, because it's a little later in the morning and if you go to Lifetime a little bit later on Saturday mornings, it's so packed. I really like to go to the gym when it's not packed. Anyway, what I'm getting ready to do in my workout, remember I'm avoiding running for a while because of the Achilles situation, which I do feel is getting better. Let's hope. Um, but I'm getting ready to get in there and do some um, Kathy Friedrich uh, Muscle Max or I might do High Step Challenge or whatever, but I'm, I'm really going to be doing like my cardio first and then I'm going to do a killer weight workout from Kathy and I'm not quite sure what, but the point is that I wanted to share with you, is, and I've said this before, which is all about something to remember, you know, to keep you going. I have found, so what did I tell you guys? Like I found the past, whatever it is, you know, a couple of months or when I first started getting sick and I was sick, you know, I'd be, I had like, you know, bronchitis. What did I have? Oh, strep throat. And, you know, I was diagnosed with strep throat after being sick for a week. So it was like, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks in a row. Remember then I had a walking pneumonia and all that. Um, so there was a, a good amount of time that I was down for the count. And especially before... I was diagnosed with the walking pneumonia. I was sick, but I would still be here at home. And I mean, on one hand, I'm proud of myself. On the other hand, I want to smack myself because I continued to get up and do 
um, cardio. Here's the, the, the thing that I have realized about myself and I think is probably true about a lot of you. Whatever you kind of get in the habit of doing is what you are going to tend to continue. So like I got in the habit of, and, and it's, it's good because this is how you can create a habit, but then you also have to realize that if you need to add something or adjust something, you, you're kind of starting from fresh in a way and you only have to give yourself a, a certain amount of time before you, it can go both ways, let's be real, before you taste something good or taste something bad and then all of a sudden you're like, I want some more please. So I've really noticed this about myself. So you know, this week in particular, there was part of me a couple of times and I told you guys in my last couple of videos, I had, um, you know, I've had a bad week. I went running that, that day and my, my heel was bothering me and I was feeling bloated and fat. So just kind of a week where I was like, have I taken a few steps back, you know? And, and there were a couple of times where I would look in the mirror and I just didn't feel like I felt, you know, my delts popping as much as I wanted to. And yeah, you guys, this is strictly vanity, you know, what I'm talking about. But the whole point is, I've really gotten proud of how far I've come. And yes, I'd be lying if I said that a part of, it's a big part for me. I'd say it's 50%. 50% is, is how I look and how I feel and, and being healthy and fitting in clothes and, and being able to just get up and run and not, you know, be out of breath. That's 50% of it. The other part is just physical capacity and, and doing this for for strength, for long-term longevity. Um, does that even make sense? Long-term longevity. You know what I'm saying? Strictly health benefits and, and strength and conditioning and power and flexibility and so on. Um, but the other part of it is, yeah, yeah, you know what? I like looking good in my jeans. I like buying a size smaller. Um, so I'm not gonna lie about that. And if you wanna judge me, you know who on my blog. Go nutty, you amuse me. Um, so anyway, I started to, there were just several things this week that were like, kind of making me a little bit paranoid and a little bit like, you have not been lifting like normal. And you've kind of been talking about getting back to lifting for a while. But the point is, is what had become natural and habitual for me and had become this, you know, I don't want to say necessarily lifestyle. It's never a problem for me to get up and do my cardio in the morning. That's like, that's part of my lifestyle now, okay? And, and I was certainly doing, and I really enjoy doing my yoga every night before bed. The problem is, is like fitting in my lifting when I'd gotten away from the three or four sessions that I was doing at the gym, where I would fit that in at four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, whatever. I'm already 13 minutes, damn. <gasps> you know, I. it's easy to get out of the habit of something. And because you didn't do that the day before, it's not as much on the top of your mind, right? You might have it lit, written down on a list or whatever. But for me, the second that I did, so, and it's also amazing to me how small my shoulders look just in this. Like I feel like, anyway. The second that I went in, in there and I took my new muscle ropes and I got out my, um, my barbell, I got out my heavy weights and I did it. I actually did a muscle max workout and we were doing, I did the upper body portion and did chest and with shoulders and biceps. And all of a sudden, like the next day, I was like, I want some more. So, because it was in my memory, right? It was in my memory from the day before. I've told you guys this. This is the same thing about eating. You know, the day that I had pizza earlier in the week, it's just natural that the next day, even though I put it down the garbage disposal, the rest of it, and I know my mom's like, Kelly, why do you waste food like that? Whatever. It can't be in my house. So the very next day I was like, oh, I just really would like have one more of that, one more day of that pizza. Whatever you had the day before is in your memory, good or bad. So the second that I fed myself like some really hardcore working out with weights, then the next day I'm like, I cannot wait to do that again. And now it's not just that I want to do my cardio. It's that, you know, I want to do my cardio on weights. And it's just so funny that I've had all this stuff. I have all this stuff out of my garage. You know, I could, I could have the, dis and I've certainly talked to you guys about it. I really want to get back. I want to lift. Lifting and weight training is not something that I dread. So it's not something I'm trying to avoid, but it's so funny that when it's not in your life, you get used to it not being in your life. And it's just not going to be in your brain to go, okay, well, I should make sure that I'm doing this. And then you just start down a certain road. And, you know, I've found that you, 
you like what you taste and then you want some more. So keep that in mind. Um, I've been really pleasantly surprised that it just took me feeding myself a little bit of, you know, muscle work. And now all of a sudden it's like, okay, it's on. Now I want it all. I want my yoga, I want my cardio, and I want my lifting. And that's all there is to it. And yeah, I really do enjoy it that much as well as this headband. So now I'm going to go kick ass. This was my short video blurb. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay, talk to you guys later. I promise.